Scallop corn dressing. This is a must try. It was absolutely delicious and a great side dish anytime. Add three cups of rotisserie chicken to this and you have a complete meal. So let's get started on Darlene's table. So of course we're gonna have uh, celery, onion. This is corn that I took off the cob, but you can use frozen corn. Parsley. Um, I'm using poultry seasoning, pepper, and salt. One egg, half a cup of milk, one cup of chicken broth, and this is the topping, which is the crackers crumbled with uh, a little butter. And this is going to be the main thing. I made some cornbread croutons. This is French bread croutons, and this is half a cup of butter crackers. All right, start with four tablespoons of butter. I'm adding the onion and celery. So we'll stir this, let the, everything get coated well in the butter. Cook this for two to three minutes. And I'm adding the corn. Now remember, I did divide this recipe in half for the video because it makes a lot. So the cornbread cubes, the uh, French bread cubes, and the crackers. Now, two, I'm going to add the onion mixture. Mix that well. Very similar to making cornbread dressing. Now I'm adding pepper, salt, and poultry seasoning. If you're enjoying this video, now would be a good time to like and subscribe. Parsley. So let's mix this well. Okay, now I'm going to add the chicken broth. You can use store-bought or make your own by boiling a chicken. I'm adding the milk and one egg. This is a very moist dish. Add the egg and really mix it. look like dressing. Now at this point you could add about a cup and a half. Remember I did divide this recipe in half. You could add about a cup and a half to it of roasted chicken and make a complete meal. I put this in a lightly greased baking dish and it's going to go into the oven at 375 degrees for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, we're going to add the buttered crackers on top. Now you can use Ritz or you can use club crackers, but some type of buttered cracker to which I added melted butter. Doesn't that look good? It went in for 30 more minutes and here we are. Now this is without the chicken in it, which is just an additional step you could do. Scalloped corn dressing. Try this two-for-one dish by combining dressing with scallop corn. Be sure to use stale bread. It absorbs the liquid better than the fresh. This recipe for scallop corn dressing makes 12 servings, so it's perfect as a holiday side for the whole family to enjoy. This recipe is easily divided in half, and you can add rotisserie chicken for a complete meal. This dish exudes comfort and warmth, a staple on any homemaker's table. This recipe, passed down through generations, is a testament to the simple pleasures of life. Whether gracing the holiday feast or accompanying a weeknight dinner, scallop corn dressing is the embodiment of homey bliss, capturing the essence of tradition and togetherness at every bite. Of course, you can find this recipe on my new and improved website, darlenestable.com. Remember to like and subscribe. That really helps my channel. And come back to see me soon, right here on Darlene's Table.